I just want to tell you all, my respected and worthy Taiwanese people, because no one else has said it. I want to say it myself, strongly, sincerely, that the world owes you a big debt and gratitude, though none express it. I hereby thank you. I hope the world's people find it in their hearts to also thank you. And please do not fear, beloved Taiwanese people. Live strongly further. Even if we might lose the body and any possessions, our soul is never lost. Especially in your nation's case, the spirit of your nation will never be lost. And no one will ever forget you. Please continue watching to find out more. On Monday, August 8, 2022, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, while still in her meditation retreat for the world, kindly called Supreme Master Television team members to share a loving message of praise and gratitude for the Taiwanese or Formosan people, together with a list of many of their valuable contributions to the world. Hi, Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> hello. hello. Hi, I'm still alive. That's what I feel. Oh. That's, good. That's good. That's the only thing, Julia. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes Everything else I don't want to tell. Yes, yes Either I'm not allowed to or I don't want to. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry to uh, upset your hopeful rest after group meditation so early in the morning <laughs> oh wow i'm happy to hear you say that <laughs> is it true right guys yeah. yes. Yes. yes oh i try to believe you okay <laughs> it's cheerful after so many stressful things that are happening everywhere in the world yes yes, yes. nice to hear some familiar voices from you yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to give a message of gratitude and uh, praise to the Taiwanese people. I hope people don't mind uh, me uh, telling you first. You don't mind, yeah? Because oh, yeah. I want to tell you so that your brain, your mind will understand why I told you to praise for peace in Taiwan. Yes, yes master. Master. Of course, whatever I told you, you always do it. I mean, almost. <laughs> you cheat a little bit <laughs> behind my back. <laughs> Sleeping on the job or whatever. I don't think you do that. It's just me who does that. So I thought maybe you do the same. <laughs> well, we do. Like master, like disciple. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Uh, we are in the human body. We do many things that we don't want to, as long as it's not harmful to anybody. I want to tell you that Taiwan is precious, okay, to the world. Yes, 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 Master. And it deserves peace. Therefore, I want to praise and thank Taiwan. Yes, 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 yes Master. I will tell you a little bit about why and then their message. You don't mind, huh? No, Master. No, 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 please, Master. Please, Master. Yes, please. please. For example, the advanced computer chips that you are using in smartphones and computers and even in your car for the brake sensors. For example, they're mostly made in Taiwan. And many things which are needed in high-speed computing industries, all the way from home to the office to car. I cannot read the whole list to you. There are some on the Internet that I saw and some that I knew myself. And I ask you to please compile the list and show it on our Supreme Master Television later. Yes, 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 yes Master. Master. So I will just be brief to introduce to you Taiwan. Then I will read a little bit of the list only. And then I will tell them their message. My message might not be all orderly and organized because I don't have anyone to help me to write a perfect speech or have a teleprompter, yeah? Yes. Yes. I mean, yes. just sit there pretty with lipstick on. <laughs> <laughs> but my thanks are sincere. And my praise is sincere for the Taiwanese people. Yes, yes. Master. Yes. 
There are uh, many things from even the aerospace to electronics. Yes, yes. Because the world really depends on the company called TSMC, semiconductors, in all kinds of sectors in the world. And they have many of the most advanced semiconductors. It's written on the internet that Taiwan accounts for 92% of production. Oh. Believe that or not? Oh. Yes, sir. This is reported by Boston Consulting. Oh. Stability in Taiwan is important for global supply chains. Taiwan holds 20% of global computer chip manufacturing capacity. It's the leader, while the likes of China, the US and Europe lag far behind. And look what happens when we focus on the most complex and powerful chips, those under 10 nanometers. Taiwan is by far the most dominant. Trailing far behind is the only other country making such complex chips, South Korea. The manufacturing of these chips is so complicated that the production processes are extraordinarily hard for other countries to copy. So many things we depend on Taiwan daily for telecommunications, digital devices, automotive chips and computers, and so many, many, many things. Yes. Yes. Chips are in everything, and they've been in short supply since just a few months into the pandemic last year. That's why it's been hard to buy everything from cars to PS5s. Turns out one company makes 24% of all the world's chips and more than 90% of the most advanced ones, the smallest, fastest chips used in today's iPhones, supercomputers, and automotive AI. We even have product that's landed on the last uh, Mars launch that are taking pictures of Mars. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, is not a household name. But it's quietly making chips for every new iPhone, U.S. fighter jets, the highest-end processors, you name it. The list is long. I will uh, ask your brothers or sisters to compile it and share it on Supreme Master Television so the world will know and appreciate what Taiwan contributes to this world. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Taiwan's or Formosa's crucial export contributions to the world. Semiconductors, high-tech computer chips, are the engines that run the global economy, powering laptops and high-speed computers, mobile phones, telecommunication equipment, TVs and other consumer electronics, home appliances, cars, and so on. For the most advanced semiconductors, Taiwan or Formosa accounts for 92% of production worldwide. Taiwanese or Formosan company Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, known as TSMC, fabricates around 50% of all semiconductors globally and is by far the world's largest producer. TSMC is the sole source of Apple's silicon processors for iPhones and Mac PCs and produces chips for top U.S. companies like AMD, Broadcom, and Qualcomm. An August 4th, 2022 article from German news outlet DW.com noted, From aerospace to consumer electronics, the world is massively dependent on TSMC semiconductors in virtually all sectors. A U.S. government report stated, The United States is heavily dependent on a single company, TSMC, for producing its leading-edge chips. 20 Taiwanese or Formosan contract semiconductor manufacturers collectively comprise 60% plus of the industry's total global revenue in 2021. With 20% market share, Taiwan or Formosa is first in the world in integrated chip or IC packaging and testing and second in the world in IC design with a 27% slice of the segment. Electronics Taiwan, or Formosa-based Foxconn, is the world's largest contract electronics maker and manufactures iPhones for Apple, and also counts giants like Sony, Dell, and BlackBerry as clients. Flat and touchscreens, laptops, USB sticks, hard drives, and routers are made in Taiwan or Formosa and used worldwide, with firms such as Acer, Asus, D-Link, and Gigabyte being some of the representative well-known brands. Machine tools. 
The nation is the world's fifth largest exporter of machine tools, which include metal cutting and metal forming machines, as well as machine tool accessories, parts, and more. The biggest machine tool manufacturing conglomerate globally is Fair Friend Group, which is headquartered in Taiwan, or Formosa, and supplies the globe with power tools, forklifts, and pneumatic equipment, as well as lathes, horizontal boring milling machines, and special purpose machines. Medical supplies. According to a U.S. government international trade agency, Taiwan is one of the world's leading producers of wheelchairs, patient aids, rehabilitation products, bandages, and other medical supplies, and basic medical and surgical instruments. Plastics and rubber machinery. The country ranks fourth worldwide in exports of products in the plastics and rubber machinery sector, with key devices it provides being plastic injection molding. Thermal forming and blow molding machines. Formosa Plastics Group is the biggest plastics firm in the nation and includes over 100 domestic and international businesses. The sectors it works with range from petrochemicals and plastics to healthcare and biotech. Iron and steel products. While refined petroleum is the nation's top commodity export, the other four largest commodity exports include hot rolled iron, large flat rolled stainless steel, coated flat rolled iron, and other iron products at a total value of almost eight billion U.S. dollars. Bicycles. The biggest bicycle firm worldwide is Taiwanese or Formosan enterprise giant that exports bikes to over 50 countries. Another leading bicycle company, Merida, is headquartered in Taiwan or Formosa as well, and sells bicycles in at least 77 different countries, etc. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Many countries depend on Taiwan's products for high tech, and even all over the world. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So Taiwan has to be left in peace to continue to work. Yes, yes.、Yeah. Now, recently, because of the tension between、uh, Taiwan, China, and America, China banned exports from about 100 companies from Taiwan. China's ban on Taiwanese or Formosan products. On August 1, 2022, China banned imports of 3,000 Taiwanese or Formosan food products, affecting over 100 food manufacturers. China's importation prohibition. Covers 35 categories, including fish and seafood, cooking oils, citrus fruits, biscuits and cakes, baby food, and candy. Producers of tea leaves, vegetables, dried fruits, honey, cocoa beans, crackers, and noodles, as well as products from around 700 fishing vessels, are included. China has banned imports of products made by more than 100 Taiwanese food and agriculture companies. The targeted companies include several of Taiwan's most popular brands. Beijing announced the ban late Monday on the eve of Nancy Pelosi's expected visit. It's the latest in a line of Chinese bans on Taiwanese food products, including pineapples, wax apples, sugar apples, and grouper fish. I hope they will reconsider because Taiwan is innocent. Yes, yes. 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 Suppose the, the big country like America wants to declare friendship with Taiwan and send their representative or high officials to Taiwan. What would Taiwan do? No, cannot come. Ah,、huh? can Taiwan say that? Even can Taiwan afford to? No. 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 Yeah, it's not polite. Yes, yes, yes. 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 We all live in the world, no matter who we are. And Taiwan is a free country. And if they want to invite themselves to Taiwan, then Taiwan just opens its doors and welcomes anyone. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Taiwan welcomes thousands of Chinese every day, no matter who they are, to come to visit. Yes, yes. yes. It's not like the Taiwanese president or government has time to talk to each of them every day. Of course, nah.、Huh? <laughs> But just one person, like Pelosi or. The senator from America, then Taiwan cannot afford to refuse them. That's true, that's true. Nobody should do that. Right. Right. It's ridiculous why things have become so blown out of proportion. Yes, yes, yes. So now there are many things that I cannot tell you all from the internet. You will have to look into it yourself. Yes, yes, yes. And also, Taiwan exports many, many things. Uh, one moment. I will go to that section and I will read it to you. 
sorry, I'm no expert on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Just lucky to stumble upon these things. That's why I want to tell you. And then you can search more for yourself. Yes, yes master. master. Your master is not an expert on the internet and a researcher of news. But I approve of one of the Chinese bands on Taiwan. Oh. Oh. Master approved of a band? That's the band Fish and Seafood. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> yes, we agree. Yeah, I agree with that. So that Taiwan has less karma. Right. Yes. And they can turn to other jobs, other things to do. I'm sorry for the fishermen and all related for this, but it's even good for them, for the fishermen and uh, the related uh, people. But the rest of it is fruit, vegetables, and food products. Even 3,000 Taiwanese food products and over 100 food manufacturers in Taiwan are banned to export to China. Of course, you can see that it's obviously a revenge for the visit of U.S. House Speaker relative okay. to Taiwan. Yes. Yes. But it cannot be completely Taiwan's fault. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 She invites herself. And who would refuse? Who would be able to refuse the House Speaker of the U.S. since the second in line for the presidency? Yes. 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 Meaning if Biden or Harris died... For example, God forbid, then she will become the president of the United States of America. Yes. 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 Such a powerful country, can Taiwan say, no, we don't want you? Uh, no, no, Mr. No. That would be suicidal. So I think the Chinese should reconsider and not punish Taiwan for nothing. Yes, yes. yes. Master. For the things that they must do, like it or not. Right, yes, yes Master. Now, the message for Taiwan, and we are going to air it on Supreme Master Television for all to see and for the world to appreciate them as well. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Okay. This is not political, it's just fairness. Yes, 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 yes Master. Fair appreciation. Okay. This is my message to Taiwan and the Taiwanese people. We praise Taiwan for all important contributions of your talent your capabilities to the world, such as those things I have just mentioned, and more, and more, and more. And many things you do also quietly, without official registration. I thank you for working hard, even under the pressure of constant threat from a big power like China, huge China, and the regime all these decades, while the world just quietly what is on and just let Taiwan fend for themselves all this time. Only now that Taiwan has become stronger, more prosperous, that some of the world powers jump in to voice their support. But this doesn't help you much. This kind of support doesn't help and it might even harm you because their support is done in such a way that might have or will have done more damage to your country's relationship with others and with China. Nevertheless, we thank you. We praise you. As the saying goes, those trees that grow in the most arid soil are the strongest. Your resilient spirit is awesome, worthy of praise and respect from all the world. May heaven continue to protect, inspire, encourage, and love you, the Taiwanese people, in all your endeavors and all your dreams of peace and happiness. Your people are almost perfect. Just tell each other to keep it that way and go one step further into the splendid future here and in heaven by adding the benevolent vegan way in your life. There's one step missing only. But many numerous Taiwanese people are already vegan or vegetarian, and we praise you and thank you for that. China has the right to symbolically sanction Pelosi and her anchoras for her inflated ego that could bring peace into ruin. But it does not much harm to her anyway. She... Uh, will still continue to enjoy her favorite ice creams 
uh, in the whole fridge, and all the privilege and uh, big but empty talks. She has a deplorable way of trampling upon others and curses and supports killing babies and fetuses and could even destroy the hard-earned peace and endanger the lives of the Taiwanese, Chinese, and many others involved. Such Apollo spirit is not worthy to exist in the world. Her astral being is already being severely punished, and this will continue more gravely once she leaves this physical world for a long, 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 uncomfortable time in hell. Uncountable time. It's strange how good countries are attacked. I don't know for what reason. Could it be jealousy? Could it be a desire to possess what they have? Like Ukraine, as the football of the world, the world can't do without. And they attack Ukraine, just like that. Maybe they want to steal the world's football for themselves. And Taiwan, as the lofty, high-tech supplier of the world that we can't do without, is also being attacked. So evidently, the negative power is getting the upper hand nowadays. I just want to tell you all, my respected and worthy Taiwanese people, because no one else has said it, I want to say it myself, strongly, sincerely, that the world owes you a big debt and gratitude, though none express it. I hereby thank you. I hope the world's people find it in their hearts to also thank you. And please do not fear, beloved Taiwanese people. Live strongly further. Even if we might lose the body and any possessions, our soul is never lost, especially in your nation's case. The spirit of your nation will never be lost. And no one will ever forget you. And remember, the judgment of heaven is always accounted accurately and fairly, absolutely fair. You will be rewarded with high blessings in heaven, a place, of course, much better than here, for all of your patient endurance in humbleness to fulfill your task in this world. My tears flow again as I tell you all my feelings and thinking. Whenever I remember your lot, I cry also. I think of your quiet strength and faith in the divine, in your daily work, to bring the world to a more comfortable, modernized, fantastic world. Your island nation is small, but your spirit is great. Heaven and earth witness your way of life and bless you daily. We are standing by, praying for peace for both China and Taiwan, and will be on your side in a peaceful fight for your cause, if necessary. I just hope you will all become vegan, so perfecting yourself and so in a more glorious, shining example to the world. It's not difficult. Taiwan produces a lot of beautiful, tasty, delicious vegan food. It's not difficult. Please consider it quickly, please, for your own sake, for your nation's sake, as well as for the sake of the world. It's time. I want to also mention something very important. Although you won the battle with China decades ago. You, the Taiwanese people, never sought to spill further bloodshed 
you only did the necessary self-protection for your country, for your people at that time, but did not seek further aggressiveness toward anyone, least of all China. And you willingly stand back, working under the shadow, under constant threat, just to contribute whatever you can, doing your best for the world's advancement. And for that, you deserve all the respect from heaven and earth. Well, for me personally, I am not Taiwanese by birth, but I feel very close in spirit to you because of all that. May your humility, your diligence, your quiet submission to the will of heaven continue so that you can do your part to uplift this world. You know, the reason you never intended to use your victory to cause more bloodshed is because you consider China as your big brother and big sister. You would never want to harm your bloodline family and heaven knows that. And you have a big, big, big bravo from me. A big, huge praise from me for that. Just for that alone. Instead of further warring, you stood back after the war was over. You stand back and try so hard to make friends with your brother, China. So you can have a more peaceful relationship with them, business-wise as well as diplomatic-wise. All these decades, you have practiced patience and humility. And for that, you will have a big reward from heaven. And so much, so much, so much love for me personally. I want to thank you for being gentle, for being generous, helpful to the world in many ways that people just take for granted and don't even notice. But heaven always notices. I want the Taiwanese people to notice and be comforted, be happy that your reward will not be small in heaven. And we pray that China will be granted the same by making peace, and heaven life is more important than this physical fleeting life anyway. Please remember God. Please remember the Buddhas. Please remember all the noble ways that the Buddhas, the saints, have been teaching us. Practice them and be grateful in your heart for whatever blessing you have in your country, in your personal life. You see, instead of continuing bloodshed or trying to provoke or anything with China, you peacefully concentrate all your might and intelligence on producing the best things for the world. That's one aspect of the Taiwanese people that the world should recognize, appreciate, and be grateful to God for. After all, we all should do our duty in the world. We should concentrate on making ourselves better, consequently, to improve the world. Just one moment. I am sorry. I'm sorry, Taiwan, that you have been under a lot of pressure, threatened, oppressed mentally and psychologically. Because not every person, not every country in the world learned to use their might for conducive work. Instead, they rely on brutal power to oppress others, so-called weaker or seemingly weaker countries and weaker people. This is not something to be proud of. So Taiwanese people, you should be proud of yourself, no matter what because you use your strength just for conducive things. 
I really love this kind of spirit. Please continue on with further determination to keep peace, to help the world by your intelligence, by your talents, by your capabilities. And God, heaven, will see to it that you will have everything you need, you deserve. Maybe not always on earth, but surely you will have it hereafter in the true home in heaven. We love you, Taiwan. We pray for you. We love you. Please be more advanced. Be the first vegan nation in the world. Show the world that you are more able, more of a heavenly race. You are almost there already. Omito Hood. I don't know what more to say. I just thank you a lot, a lot, and a lot. And I myself, with my team and association, we do whatever we can peacefully to show you support and encouragement. Please continue to keep your noble traits so that heaven will protect you more now and hereafter. May you all feel more blessed, more strengthened and loved by heaven and earth. With a high and affectionate salute to all of you, the beautiful Taiwanese people and country. That's it. This is my message to the Taiwanese people. I hope after this message and the list that we put out, the Chinese government can see more clearly because there are many things from Taiwan that they cannot do without, not just the rest of the world. And because they are busy also, every government is busy. Yes. Yes. And maybe they don't have time to compile anything good from any other country except their own. Yes. 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 And I'm glad that at least Chinese people take care of their own folk. I praise China for that. And hopefully everybody has all their needs in their life in China. I think they do. And for that, I'm also grateful to the Chinese government. But moreover, they should keep a peaceful attitude and spirit to all around and further in the whole world. Because we all live in this, in the energy that we create. May God bless us so. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, all the Buddha, the saints and sages, past present and future for keeping us in peaceful spirit and turn this world into a vegan peaceful paradise. Amen. 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 Thank you all for listening and uh, please uh, make sure it goes on air as soon as possible. I thank you first in advance. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you, Master. Yes, master. 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 master.